How's it going friends? Right now I'm in front of the Colorado State Capitol right here in Denver. And that's because today's video is a virtual tour of Capitol Hill, Denver. One of the best, dare I say, hippest spots in all of Denver. Let's get into it. How's it going, y'all? My name is Jesse Lynch. I run the hardest working real estate team in the game. We are called Welcome to Denver. Check out our website, welcometodenver.co. This YouTube channel, though, is all about helping you find a place to call home, whether you're moving to Denver from out of state or just buying a house here for the first time. If either of those sound up your alley, do us both a favor, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get notified, give this video a thumbs up, and say what's up in the comments. And if you're thinking about making a move here to Denver, do whatever you can to get a hold of us. Go to our website, welcome to denver.co. Email us at info at welcome to denver.co. Check us out on Instagram at welcome to denver.co or call or text us at the number on the screen. I'd appreciate that very much. Like I said at the top, this is a virtual tour of Capitol Hill, Denver, one of the hippest neighborhoods in all of Denver. I like to call it the Brooklyn of Denver. Let's go. y'all right now i'm in a neighborhood that i think sums up what capitol hill has going on pretty well you have apartment buildings you have some single family homes but look how very very close together they are right they're old single family homes those are called the denver square and there's a ton of this style of house here and a lot of those are turned into duplexes and then you have mansions or mansions that have since been turned into apartment buildings so you have apartment buildings single family homes, mansions, and mansions that have been turned into apartment buildings. Like I said before, I think of Capitol Hill as sort of the Brooklyn of Denver. It's super, super densely populated. The population is like 16,000 people, which for any of these neighborhoods in Denver, it's one of the highest. There aren't exactly a ton of single family homes. A lot of the single family homes are now turned into duplexes, stuff like that. But overall, there's sort of a chic, hipster, crusty kind of vibe that people like myself, a lot of friends of mine really are into this kind of thing. And then so with that, you're gonna get a lot of sort of hipster restaurants, coffee shops, that kind of thing. I started one of these clips at Studio City and Studio City's like a vegan restaurant probably should come as no surprise. As far as the borders of Capitol Hill, to the north, you're gonna have Colfax. To the east, you're gonna have Downing. To the south, you're gonna have Seven. And to the west, you're gonna have Broadway. And Capitol Hill is pretty much right in the middle of Denver, maybe just second to the actual like downtown central business district, that kind of thing. But definitely, I mean, it's the capital of all state. So a lot of the city sort of was formed around that. It's basically, depending on where you are, maybe a five minute drive, but it could also probably be like a two minute walk to what's considered downtown. And it's probably something like 35 to 45 minute drive to the airport, which they say is in Denver, but I would tend to disagree. Overall on niche.com, probably should come as no surprise. If I'm doing a video on it, it made my best neighborhood video. Capitol Hill gets an A plus and it gets particularly high ranks on niche.com for young professionals. And I do think to some degree, you're gonna see a lot of a younger vibe here, right? Like I said earlier, you're gonna see more hipsters, artists, punks, that kind of thing. And the schools overall get a B, but specifically this neighborhood, pretty good. They ha they're serviced by East High School, which is one of the best, I think the best, the highest rated 
high school in Denver proper, it gets an A plus, and then Morley Middle School gets a B plus, and then there's another, like a kindergarten through eighth grade school that gets a C plus, but to be honest, I don't, I don't know anything about that. And you will find that in general, housing here in Capitol Hill is pretty cheap, or at least it appears pretty cheap on the surface and that's because there's so many condos and townhouses and duplexes where you're you know sharing a wall with the neighbor that's overwhelmingly what is here so the median list price is 329,000 and the median sale price is 305,000 right so there's there's kind of a disconnect there where it's the median sale price is lower than the median list price but I will say that that doesn't necessarily mean that you're not gonna have to fight for a nice house, right? If, if it's a good spot, you're still gonna have to fight for it. You're not gonna be able to lowball people at all in this market and specifically in this area. But then if you go just to single family, right? So that's all housing overall, right? Condos and single family. If now we look just at single families, the cheapest house on the market right now is basically $600,000 and goes all the way up to 7 million for, you know, probably a sweet old mansion. And this is one of the cheapest spots where you can actually get a condo for under $200,000, which is pretty rare uh, anywhere in Denver, but I'm not gonna say it's gonna be the nicest condo. You're not gonna be living too swanky, but you can own, you can get into this area for under $200,000. There's something listed right now for 169,000. So all in all for the conveniences that Capitol Hill provides, close to downtown, very walkable to shops and restaurants and that kind of thing, definitely a pretty good value for the money. But if you are trying to get in for cheap, it's definitely gonna be a condo. And really even to get into a single family home, 600 isn't a realistic expectation. That's the lowest thing listed on the market right now. I would say expect to spend somewhere closer to seven eight even upwards for a single family home here in capitol hill all right you go for a ride let's go for a ride basically at Washington and 13th. And we're gonna talk about pros and cons of living here in Capitol Hill, Denver. Okay, for one, I just wanna start and say, I think that Capitol Hill is the kind of neighborhood that you're either gonna love it or you're gonna hate it. That could be, there maybe there's some gray area, but I think that's gonna be mostly true. You're either into this vibe or you're not into this vibe. And so first pro I'm gonna say is that there's, it feels like sort of a cultural epicenter, arts, history and a just cultural center abound here it is everywhere you look you cannot avoid it so if you're not into that thing then this probably isn't the spot for you but if you are then there might not be a better place in denver to find it next row is there's really really great restaurants here in Capitol Hill. There's tons of it. It's very walkable, not just the restaurants, but the shops, like, like record store, used bookstores, tattoo shops, coffee shops, that all that kind of stuff that you would expect out of sort of a cultural epicenter, out of what I call the Brooklyn of Denver. That is what you're going to find here. And it's all going to be relatively walkable, bikeable. Next pro is that it's super close to downtown. Again, some parts you're going to be able to take a walk into the downtown area pretty much anywhere here you can bike to the downtown area if you're driving it's a very very short drive from here to the center of downtown last pro i'm going to say is that there is an opportunity to get into capitol hill specifically to get into denver a very convenient very culturally cool part of denver for relatively cheap but to do that we're talking a condo and we're also probably not talking the nicest condo but you can own a home here in Capitol Hill for not 
a crazy amount of money. Okay, and then now onto the cons. Again, if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you won't. It's very densely populated here. I think one of the most densely populated neighborhoods is Denver, and so you're just gonna be dealing with people a lot. You're gonna feel a little bit tight. The roads are all tight. Parking is hard to find. You're parallel parking everywhere. If you have a yard at all, it's gonna be a small yard. And that sort of brings me to the next con, which is that there's not a ton of sort of park spaces, outdoor spaces. Again, it feels like a neighborhood that you would walk outside in, right? Like you would spend a lot of time outside here because it's walkable, it's bikeable, but there's, you can't really go to a park. There's very few parks that you can go hang out at. If you're doing that, you're probably going elsewhere. However, there are some parks, but that leads me to sort of the next con, which is that some parts of this are a little bit run down. There is a little bit of visual blight at times, whether that's in the form of homes that aren't very well taken care of, buildings that aren't very well taken care of, trash on the streets, especially on like Colfax, on like the busy streets. You're just gonna see there's more action, so then there's more chance for people to kind of ruin it for everybody. You're also more likely to see some homeless people here, a homeless encampment, and I understand that that is not for everybody. Okay, and then the last con I'm gonna say is that it can be a little bit hectic here. So again, if you're not looking for that on top of each other, you know, metropolitan living, then this probably isn't the spot for you. There's nowhere else in Denver that you're gonna be able to find a better example of this. Let's go for a ride. friends right now I'm on another street that I think sums up sort of a different character of Capitol Hill which is sort of the higher end more single family home oriented part and that tends to be over further east right a little further away from downtown a little further away from the noise and the hustle and bustle and you start to get a little more residential, a little easier to find a parking spot on the road. Still, you got one ways, you got parallel parking, and you have pretty tight quarters, but decent size front yards. You're not gonna have giant backyards pretty much anywhere here. But I mean, these houses are borderlining on mansions for some people, for some neighborhoods. Okay, if you've been watching these videos, you know that I have a section that I call my more fans of section, which is to say, if you're into this neighborhood, you might be into these neighborhoods, or if you're into these neighborhoods, then you might actually like Capitol Hill. First one I'm gonna say, and it's because I'm kind of close to it right now. For the most part, it doesn't vibe quite like Capitol Hill. But if you're into these more residential vibes, a little more upscale, more mansion-y, then maybe check out Cheeseman Park, right? Cheeseman Park is basically adjacent to Capitol Hill and it's a really beautiful neighborhood. It's got a beautiful park and definitely worth checking out. And the next one I'm gonna say you should check out would be Five Points. And now Five Points doesn't exactly vibe just like this, but it has some sort of similar elements to it. One of which would be that it's walkable, one of which would be that it's fairly densely populated, and you know, one of which would be that there's an artist culture going on there. And also one thing to note is that Five Points overlaps almost entirely with Rhino, AKA River North, AKA the Rhino Arts District. So if you like sort of the artsy nature of Capitol Hill, then definitely check out Rhino and Five Points. If you like the walkability, that whole thing, those are definitely good spots to check out. They're a little more downtown, a little more urban than Capitol Hill, but definitely have that in common. And then the last one I'm gonna say is Highland. Okay, I think Highland uh, feels similar in some ways and totally different in other ways. Mostly I would say in the walkability and the shops and restaurants and that kind of thing. Literally last night I went to L5 in Highland, super, super cool restaurant, but it's gonna be a little more upscale, 
than a lot of what you're gonna find here. City of City, where I was earlier, super great restaurant. There's just a lot of really good stuff to choose from here. And that sort of diversity and options is why I think you might like Highland if you like Capitol Hill. Okay, I appreciate y'all watching this. As always, if you're thinking about moving here, do whatever you can to get a hold of us. You can check out our website, welcometodenver.co. You can email us at info at welcometodenver.co. You can check us out on Instagram at welcometodenver.co or you can call or text the number on the screen. However you do it, get a hold of us and we will take the best care of you. We will crush it for you. I appreciate you watching this. As you exit the video, please do so safely. Subscribe to the channel, click that little bell to get notified, give the video a thumbs up, and say what's up in the comments. Real quick, pretty cool house. I love this spot. All right, I hope you enjoyed. Take it easy, y'all.